Running N8N in Docker is a great start, especially if you've paired it with local LLMs like DeepSeek or Llama. But there's an immediate limitation. Everything lives on localhost. You can't trigger flows from other devices, webhooks fail to reach you, and services such as Telegram, Gmail, YouTube, or Stripe won't finish OAuth without a public secure HTTPS address. Localhost is perfect for tinkering, yet it blocks collaboration, remote testing, and real integrations. Let's turn that constraint into forward motion. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your local N8N feel production ready without buying a domain or paying for a server. We'll use ngrock to create a secure public URL that points straight at your machine. With that URL, you can accept webhooks, complete OAuth flows that normally reject localhost, and run automations from anywhere. It's fast to set up, safe to run, easy to share, and free at the level... First, a quick invitation. I've launched a free community for no-code builders and AI tinkerers. You'll find deep dives, example projects, and templates from my tutorials, plus a friendly place to ask questions, post screenshots, and get answers quickly. If that sounds helpful, check the description. Come say hi and level up alongside makers who are solving the same problems you are. Here's what Ngrok actually does. It creates a secure outbound tunnel from your computer to the internet and gives you a public HTTPS domain that forwards traffic to a service running on your machine. Because the tunnel starts from your side, your firewall doesn't need new inbound rules. The connection is encrypted end-to-end, -end, the URL is publicly reachable, and third-party APIs treat it like a normal production endpoint. That combination makes ngrock perfect for demos, testing, webhooks, and even light production while you're getting started. Sign up for a free ngrok account and open the dashboard. Installation is simple. Use the command line installer or download a small binary for your operating system. On Windows, run the executable. On Mac OS or Linux, unzip the file and either put it on your path or keep it in a project folder and run it directly. Keep the dashboard open because we'll need the auth token soon. The whole process usually takes about a minute. Now prepare Docker so N8N knows about its public address. If you already have an N8N container running, we'll replace it while keeping all your data. Stop and remove the existing container in Docker Desktop or with the CLI. Don't worry, your workflows and credentials live in a volume or a bind-mounted folder on your host machine, and that stays untouched. Confirm the host path where N8N stores its data. As long as the new container points to the same path, everything will reappear automatically. That's the power of volumes. You can recreate containers as often as you like without losing state. Recreate the N8N container and reattach the same volume or bind mount. Add a few environment variables so the editor and webhooks use your public URL once ngrok is live. Think of this as a clean relaunch that keeps everything you've built and sets the stage for a secure endpoint. If volumes are new to you, remember, the host path is the real folder on your machine. The container path is where N8N expects files inside Docker, and the mount links them. Your data survives because it lives on the host, not inside the container. Set the key variables. Enable community or custom nodes so you can install extras later without rebuilding the image. Set the editor base URL to the HTTPS domain ngrock will provide and set the webhook base URL to the same domain so services like Telegram, Stripe, and Google can deliver events. Switch the default binary data mode to file systems so large attachments, images, PDFs, video, are written to disk instead of memory. For heavier flows, that change improves stability dramatically. Keep your port mapping consistent. If you've used 555-555 locally, stick with it or choose another port and use it consistently in Docker and ngrok. Start the container and check the logs in Docker Desktop or your terminal. Confirm that N8N is running and listening on your chosen port. If the editor or webhook URLs are printed, double check for typos and restart if you need to fix them. Visit your local editor at localhost on the selected port 
Log in and make sure your workflows, credentials, and past executions are present. That confirms the volume mapping worked and your data is safe. If you try an ngrok link right now and see offline or tunnel not found, that's expected. Ngrok needs your auth token to link this device to your account. Open the dashboard, copy the token command, and run it in your terminal. The command writes to an ngrok configuration file in your user directory so future tunnels are authenticated automatically. With that in place, you're ready to go public.